If a criminal group can kill 3,000 of us in broad daylight and suspend the laws of physics and sell this to the people and launch illegal wars and kill over a million Iraqis and lie about WMDs in a premeditated fashion, none of us are safe because this same system is still in control whether we have George Bush, Barack Obama, or somebody like Rick Perry in three years in the White House. It's like we're living in a cage with invisible walls The wicked sight, guys of life, making grown men crawl On their knees, begging, please save us from the boogeymen Funded by the CIA, funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck, they hit you from the back No sweat, ho check and watch us shake And take away your freedom, you really don't need them When you're tucked away safe and protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer, like the great pretender Ask the second amendment, why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth when it comes to September I'ma yell it from the roof and expose the agenda It's time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the troopers and patriots People ask me what will work? I say, look at your own life. What worked and what didn't work? When was it good? When did it change? When did it change? So it's about morality. And until the morality comes back to this country, nothing is going to change. There's not gonna be a leader that's gonna come out riding on a white horse. It's about each individual. It's about you. It's about who you are. Stop pointing the finger at somebody else. What are you doing every day to make your life better and other people's? For me, hell is taking that last breath and knowing that you aren't the person who you said you were. As an American, I honor thy founding fathers, beginning with George Washington, at his farewell address, no foreign entanglements. And then you listen to Franklin and Adams, and Jefferson and Madison, no foreign entanglements. And the world was at war back then. The Middle East policy in the United States has been nothing but disaster after disaster. I would say to anyone in Washington, from the President to Congress to the Senate, Fix Detroit first. Stay a night over at Trenton. Go to East St. Louis. Go around the country. Fix up all these rotting cities. Then tell me how you're going to fix the Middle East. Don't give me the baloney that you're making me safer by going in other countries, destroying the joint, and then say, Oh, I wonder why they hate us. Anybody ever hear of do unto others what you have them do unto you? I love these guys that talk about protecting the unborn and protecting our children while they're killing people all over the world. Who made up this thing about the United States advancing democracy when they're robbing us of all our rights over here? And uh, this whole insanity that we have to continually be in a state of war is just that. There's no reason for it. No foreign entanglement. I want to convey it's easier than we think to turn our country around, whether it's energy, whether it's anti-poverty, whether it's tax reform, whether it's electoral reform. Stop thinking we're powerless. We start with our constitution, we the people. It doesn't start with we the corporation. Corporations are never mentioned in the constitution. Why are they ruling us? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. 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 We're saying our problem is civil disobedience. That is not our problem. Our problem is civil obedience. They all have names. And they're a member of the Bloods and the Crips that the public likes to call the Republicans and the Democrats. They're both murderers and thieves. 
How many more people do they have to murder? Hey, any drone strikes today? Yeah, what country are we going to invade next? And I knew that I could never again raise my voice against the violence of the oppressed and the ghettos without having first spoken clearly to the greatest purveyor of violence in the world today. Also the president of the world's oldest constitutional democracy. But I'm also the president of the world's oldest constitutional democracy. Everybody stand up. Stand up. I want you all to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. But I'm also the president of the world's oldest constitutional democracy. But I'm also the president of the world's oldest constitutional democracy. Can't take it. Uh, I can't take it. Uh, I just cannot take that. If anybody heard what he just said, constitutional democracy? Really? 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 And we pledge allegiance to democracy or do we pledge allegiance to the republic we are not repeat we are not a democracy and if someone does not call him on this and make this particular video with this particular voice with me talking at least get some damn views then y'all don't give a flying fuck about your country not one flying fart. Not one. Because what he said right there, he should be impeached immediately. Immediately. Not, not, to, not next week. Today. Tonight. He should be arrested for treason. The man is committing treason, folks. He is not an American. To say democracy? Constitutional democracy? Really? People, are you, are you listening to this man? Are you hearing what this man is telling you? Are you? Really? This man doesn't belong here. He belongs to... Hell, I think he's Hitler's son. He acts just like him. We are not a democracy. Say the Pledge of Allegiance to yourself. Look it up. Look what the words say. Look what the, the Constitution says. <laughs> wow. I'm lost for words. I really am. This blows me away. I mean, this blows me. I have never heard anyone ever, as the President of the United States, say democracy as much as this man has. He says it in the State of the Union address and nobody says anything. He says it. And, and, and now, and now, our Constitution, our the oldest constitutional democracy 
In other words, it's ancient. We need to get rid of it. Really? That's what's wrong with it now, is they've gotten rid of it. And that's why we're facing World War III because of this man. Really? Folks, really? I mean, come on! Get a grip! Wake up! 